there everyone and welcome to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4 once again and today we begin this episode with a certain John F. K-Boy. But right now we've already finished up the Betray Organized Crime so if you want to read about that one again please go right ahead. And we're currently doing the Area Redevelopment Act. The ARA will establish an administration of the same name whose role will be to aid poor rural areas, especially Appalachia, develop local infrastructure and of course resources. For insistence, let's establish a Peace Corps. We need to promote democracy and American values throughout the world in a new non-violent way, and the Peace Corps will accomplish that. We'll send the best of our young men and women overseas to help and develop third world countries. And then increase minimum wage. Ooh, and super goods gets hurt quite a bit, which I don't like. Let's wait for that one, but a Foreign Assistance Act is 61. This act restructures our inter international aid programs, classifying funds into military and non-military packages. A new agency for international development, the USA, to oversee economic packages. And right now we got about 400 political power. I'm going to do the Area Redevelopment Act. Oh, legislation fails to pass. Ooh, I'm going to remove. That does not sound very good. Um, I guess we probably don't want to do that. Also, I forget that Angola's here. And they're fighting the Congo too. So I'm not really sure if we want to help either side here. So yeah, we got a lot of political power. In addition, we are we have sent soldiers to the Congo here. So yeah, um, we have Korea. The Supreme Council for National Reconstruction of the Republic of Korea as a puppet which now, which is awesome. And right now, my goal, like I think it said before, uh, they're socialists, but we're trying to get the Israelis into our thing as well. No, I did I did do the Mutual Defense Treaty, because it said it gave us 25 more influence with the nation in selected, but it didn't give me 25% more influence. So, we'll do it like that, I guess, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do the Foreign Assistance Act. And after that, what else are we going to do? Let's do the CIA again. We can do the CIA. Why not? It's only five days. Why not? CIA, in addition to uh, the State Department. I think that would probably be a good thing as well. At least doing two of those at the same time. State Department. The State Department is the arm of the government country that the world sees. Here's N. Reacts to. It'll play an enormous role in the upcoming decades as we attempt to stay atop the world order. Oh! Launch a blockade of Afghanistan border. We got some comments to go through as well, but the International Confederation of Free Trade Union calls for sanctions against South Africa. All right, well, y'all doing stuff. Did, are we going to win down here? It looks like we're losing. That's not very cool. These guys are starving, which is actually very, very cool. But then again, it is Africa, so, I mean, what do you expect? We're doing okay, and I ha make sure Dwight Eisenhower is leading here, even though we don't have a lot of resources. We need a lot more anti-tank guided missile stuff, so. If you guys want to help out, that'd be great. I know it's two tank divisions here, but at the same time, like... Ain't doing so well over there. So, State Department, it's only 10 days. We get that extra political power. That'd be very nice. Um, we're still trying to build up a lot of stuff. There was one comment saying that, can we use, like, renewable energy and or um, nuclear power plants? Because this one only use is nuclear material, which we don't have. I guess we could, yeah, I suppose. I, I thought we wouldn't. this expensive power plant consumes no resources to produce. Because we're trying to get the fossil fuels, which lowers the amount of oil we have, but... I'm not super worried about petrochemicals. But yeah, if you guys would recommend that, then you know what? A little by one, two, then. We can get a few renewables, even though they cost... They cost a lot. Holy crap. They cost a butt ton. So let's get two at a time. Let's see. Where else can we build it? 12, 19... 12% uh, okay. DC is 12% as well. North Carolina is 12%. So is Florida. California is 12%. So... Oh, let's put it in Iowa. Why not? Get some renewables because we can. And let's go with Mary Bank. So, the Free Republic of the Congo's capitulated, which I guess we won. Look at that. Good job, Mr. Dude, Mr. Liberal Conservative, Joseph Kasuvubu. Very nice. And let's do the CIA as well because we love the CIA here. Totally. Um, yeah, M. PLA, the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola Peace Corps. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's going to fail, anyways. Wait, what do you mean? 239 members. Oh, legislation passed. Okay, that's legislation passed. And almost 100 senators. Almost every senator. Domestic affairs. While we still need a whole other vision of democratic world order together, we can't ignore the issues we have at home. If we lose on the home front, how can we have a chance of succeeding abroad? Good question. Followed up with increased minimum wage. The minimum wage, while not too low, is still nowhere near enough for those being paid it to survive in a modern and growing economic system. We need to raise it. What if we don't want to raise it? What if we want to have the... the the thing happened. 
Let the free market decide the wages. I don't know. It depends what Kennedy wants. He's kind of handsome, but whatever. And best in the Appalachian region? Oh, yes, please. Manpower Development and Training Act? I like manpower. Well, already targeted by the Area Redevelopment Act. Appalachia, as America's poorest region, needs all the funds and investments it can get. Really? So Appalachia is even more poor than, like, the Delta region here in the south? That part of the sort of, sort of-ish, south-ish is poorer than this region? Because I know, like, this area here, like, is, it's not... Doesn't have a lot of funding. Doesn't have a lot of wealth. So, uh huh. You're gonna learn something new every day. Economic development? Cool. GDP is okay. We're still gonna continue building up the stuff that sucks up on the petrochemicals, but we're building a lot more office parks now. This is very nice. Of course, that. Uh, yeah, hmm. You know what? Building renewables is probably better overall, like you guys recommended, but. Yeah, we're gonna do that first for now. Invest into Israel as well, but Manpower Development and Training Act. Our manpower pool for the workforce and as well as our military is limited. And we must ensure that we get as much as we can out of every man or woman. We'll squeeze them as hard as we can because it's always fun squeezing people. Hmm, depending on who it is, I guess. But Israel, oh Israel, we're 76%, which is pretty good, but that ain't high enough. Social interest groups. What is wrong with you, Israel? The social question. Gender and minority rights. Total equality. SAGA. LGB legalization. Where'd that happen to the T? Oh. Is this? Revive the Rust Belt. What is going on here in Israel? I don't understand Israel now. Legislation passed? Good job, guys. Ban foreign reporting intelligences. Build parks. Allow international reporters. Independent media. Military reporters. Huh. Improved grid efficiency is nice. Get some of that. That'd be very good as well. Um, foreign assistance fails to pass. What do you mean fails to pass? We haven't had anything fail to pass before. How do we get more legislation? How do we get more senators on our side? Latin American desk. That sounds kind of fun. Uh, that's one for sale. What do you mean? I'm not going to do it if it's just going to fail. That's, that's political power we're using up, man. What after this one? A drug efficiency? Drug, or efficacy, I should say. The efficacy amendment after we get the super bazooka. Um, here, this one. Cool. Drug e efficacy amendment. An amendment to the earlier Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. The DEA introduces a requirement for companies to provide truth that their product actually works safely as intended. Before, of course, being able to actually sell it. So, how do I get more senators? Alright, so the Berlin Crisis. At the BN Summit on the 1 o'clock, 14th June, uh, 1961, tensions rose. Meaning with U.S. President JFK, Premier Khrushchev reissued the Soviet ultimatum to assign a separate peace treaty with East Germany, and thus send the existing power, four power agreements guaranteeing American, British, and French rights to access West Berlin and the occupation of East Berlin by Soviet forces. The three powers responded that any unilateral treaty could not affect the responsibilities and the rights in West Berlin. In the growing confrontation of the status of Berlin, JFK undercut his own bargaining position during the Vienna Summit negotiations with Khrushchev in 61. JFK essentially conveyed U.S. acquiescence to the permanent division of Berlin. This made his later more assertive public statements less credible to the Soviets. What should we do with about the Berlin question? Old NATO uh, summoned by disarming West Berlin, handing it over? We're not going to give him an inch of land. The DDR becomes West Berlin. Nope. Dems? Ah, I see. Why the Democrats don't have a... Yeah. NATO refused Soviet offer. We went out the communism spread. Um, Berlin crisis gets hotter. The Soviet Union is displeased by our NATO. By NATO, not accepting the ultimatum, stating that the motherland has sacrificed millions of lives to get to Berlin. They say that Western powers will cause World War III if they do not leave Berlin, and in consequence will cause the deaths of billions. Tensions are high on Berlin, and Soviet tanks and troops are right across there from our tanks and soldiers. What should we do? This is an attack. That would be kind of cool. Send diplomats to talk to the USSR. Pull back our tanks and soldiers. Send diplomat. We'll be fine. Um, yeah. So that, that makes a lot more sense. 39 Democrats, 59 Republicans. 202 Democrats. You can't get anyone else. So there's no point in doing it then. We gotta wait for that. I'm gonna wait to do those though. So. Talks on the Berlin crisis. We'll end this and keep West Berlin. Unless it goes nuclear. But you could. Soviets push for free city of Berlin. The Soviets said that if NATO won't accept the unified city of Berlin controlled by the GDR, then maybe we could form a free city of Berlin. The free city of Berlin would include both East and West Berlin. And be a neutral state. The problem with this, however, is that the Soviets influence the neutral Berlin country. What you do about it? Nah, we good. We good, guys. Just kind of, you stay over there, we stay over here. Migrations and refugee assistance. Pull back troops from the Berlin border. We have succeeded in keeping West Berlin. Nice. 
deploy troops to Ole Miss. Ole Miss students, after all that has occurred with the Little Rock Nine and the Civil Rights Movement, started riots to protest black student enrollment. And people were being killed. It's time to send the army. I've never heard about it. The Berlin Crest is over. Achtung. We're protected the city of West Berlin for now. Hmm. Interesting. JFK is interesting. I don't know. A weird fella. Oh, and we're done building up some of the mother uh, thingamabobs. We'll go and eat some more. Put in Indiana, put in Ohio. How's it looking? Nice. That's not too bad. Ariel truck roads? Cool. So we bit ahead of time. Anything for computers? Yes, please. More weapon types? Oh, yeah. Of course, we're going to need 500 PP to get some stuff done here, but still. Alright, what else we got up here? Drug efficacy? Okay, so more multi population stability. I can, we, we would gladly do that. Only 59 senators like that, and House members barely like it, so. What else is new? For these guys, side influence of the nation. The French Republic loves Israel, huh? Well, we love them harder. Nice. 87% ain't good enough for me, but hey, that, maybe that's just me. What's the PRC doing? The Albanian satellite. <laughs> okay. And they're still fighting our puppet down here. The Christian Democrats. Well, they're not our puppets. Actually, I'd love to puppet them, maybe. The French have a lot of influence on them, though. Uh, you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to puppet these guys. Saudi relations? Yes, please. Mohammed Reza Pahlavi seems pretty cool as well. Can I puppet you? I probably doubt. Oh. If they have a negative debt, does it mean they have a surplus? Their GDP kind of sucks. I mean, ours is 1.41 trillion. Theirs is 0.4. Their guys is 0.5, and they don't even have their entire country united. Abdication of Zahir Khan. Oh, boy. Color TV? Wow, we got color TV? Awesome. Rise at Ole Miss? Cool. The South shall not rise again. Not unless we got some cool Hoi 4 mods. Actually, can we have a civil war as JFK? That'd be kind of cool. Migration Refugees Assistance Act? Migration Refugee Assistance Act is supposed to deal with unexpected and urgent needs of refugees, displaced persons, conflict victims, and other persons at risk around the globe. Equal Pay Act. Executive... What is this one? 11... Oh, yeah, let's do this one for succulent furnaces. Alright, so, for 1960... I'd love to do this one, but we cannot, like we established last time. So this means the industry tree for right now is done until 65, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, can we do this one yet? Research speed? Yeah. No? Okay, we gotta get this one done first. How about over here? That's okay. Alright, I might have missed one, one. Missed one, but whatever. Let's skip the middle one. Let's go to WMDs. No, let's come over to the space stuff. Balloon tanks? Might as well. Because we got a space race to win someday. Followed up. The executive order, what is this one? Ends degree 11063. This executive order prohibits discrimination in any sort of transaction or interaction involving federal housing. Oh. Well, that sounds a lot less interesting than I thought it would be. Next election, November 64. Democratic Party, Social Democracy versus Conservative Eisenhower. No, I thought Eisenhower already had two terms. I can't do anything else about that. But okay, whatever. <laughs> any more economic investments? Oh, no. We're kind of good right now. Any other wars we can get involved in? I like... Nope. That's it. There's no wars going on besides the ones we're already involved in. Which kind of sucks. Um, executive order might as well. So with this one, what it... Well, we can't tell the pass. Hey, it passed nice. Foreign system fails to pass. Fails to pass. So they all fail to pass. I'm not going to do any of them. The Ailul... The Ailul revolt. Nice. Another Middle Eastern conflict. Equal Pay Act. In the next... Uh, in a never-ending line of amendments to the Fair Labor Standards Act... <clears throat> the Equal Pay Act will try to abolish the gender pay gap, as well as attack other areas of sex discrimination. But what if discrimination is good? Well, that's the question. Is discrimination good? Depends on who you ask, some might say. What is the USSR doing? Mobilize women? Well, Khrushchev is like, get those women a job. Polish people are like, smile, because we're doing Air Force superiority traditions. And Austria is just like, I'm fat here. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to offend Mr. Rab, Rob there, but... <clears throat> Still, classical liberals, kind of junksters. Hey, got skill. Costello, Ooh, base computer auxiliaries. Now, can we do the supercomputers? I'll do this one first. Yeah, that's fine. Executive order 11 no, 63. Good news. Good news. Equal and pays act.
All right, Sar Bomba. Let there be more corn and more meat, and let, let there be no hydrogen bombs at all. Terrifying. Well, that's all right. Clean Air Act. I like this one. Uh, the Clean Air Act is a countrywide law aimed at controlling and eliminating air pollution. And a new public health service program will oversee it, and more research into related fields will be funded. American Armed Forces, again. Cool. American Navy, nice. There's, not, there's a lot less focuses here, at least on the bottom left. Now, we can do a lot more things. DMZ crisis? Well, we kind of already won. Um, outreach to Israel. Saudi aid. Capitalized on the Sino-Soviet split. Gulf of Tonkin incident, huh? <coughs> Equal Pay Act. Fails to pass. We can increase wages, which gives us more political power, more consumer goods. Production efficiency cap goes... Hmm. You know what? That's why I don't mind failing then. See, look at that. Now we have 47 instead of 50 or 51. So... Whatever. After each to Moscow, condemn Chinese aggression, negotiations over Vietnam. Oh, the Albany movement. Look at that. Interesting. Proposition for war. State visit to China. Pressure Hanoi. The Shanghai community. Awesome. Well, we do want to do the Asian desk. The secret war. Operation Pincushion. Oh, yeah. Bomb these guys. I love bombing guys. But you know what's better than bombing guys? Bombing women? Hmm. Well, then. But Operation Mockingbird sounds like one we should do as well. MK Ultra, Yeah. Undermine the anti-war movement project MKO Efton? Huh. Well, Latin American desk. Our neighbors to the south are currently a hotbed of communist instigators and propaganda in numerous countries, most importantly Cuba, with its close proximity to our shores, have already fallen. We've got to act fast. And indeed, we do. Tactics and equipment. Nice. Let's go and go this one next. The attrition goes down by 15%. Nice stuff. Launch a bay of pegs. Oh boy. Attempt to assassinate him. Well, let's do rollback steel prices. Ever since World War II and the most recent conflicts, the price of steel has been very high for everyone, but especially civilian companies. It's time to lower them back down. Nice. Followed up with what? Followed with a. Fund the Apollo program. Oh, yes, Daddy. We chose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. With these words, our president announced to the nation that we will reach the moon before the deck is out. Good luck, NASA. Freedom rides? Well, interesting. Well, good luck with your freedom. You might need a little bit of luck here and there, but yeah, you, you might do well in the end. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll be like in TNO and just veto civil rights every chance we can. And Well, there goes Israel doing their stuff. GOA. Nice shorts, dude. I love your shorts. I gotta get a pair of shorts like that. GOA.8.8. .8. Cool. Let's get at least to 91%. And... Jesus Christ. Are we get... There we go. So now we want to stop influencing it. 91% is good enough. So, oh, so we can get 500. So we can establish a dependent state. So we can puppet them. Roll back to them seal prices. Fund the Apollo program. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, fails to pass. Fails to pass. Fails to pass. God dang it. Oh. Give me an outlook. That's not bad. Clean Air Act. I oh, could use more consumer goods. Why not? And get a few more renewables. As eventually we will be building up like these areas more and more and more and more and more, more as time goes on. Once we run out of things to really build, like we're really going to just hit these guys really hard. You're not supposed to hit guys or hit anyone in general too, but like we're going to be building a lot of us. Oh, you can build in Mexico too. Well, that's not bad too. Cool. Very cool. Oh, yeah, look at all this stuff. Yeah, look at all these more, more infrastructure, please. Infinite infrastructure. Just make it infinite. Texas is a, Texas is a big state. It's not the biggest, but it's a big state. Is Alaska the biggest state? I know California's pretty big, too. Florida's got a big population as well. As well as New York. I don't know. Some states are just really weird. Whee! <laughs> I guess I didn't give New York any love or Rhode Island, but then again, when's the last time we remember Rhode Island or even the capital? Oh, boy. After that, Civil Rights Act of 64, now Federal Transit Act. The Urban Mass Transportation Act of 64 will provide $375 million for large-scale urban public or private rail projects in the form of matching funds to cities and states. So, 1, 2, 3, 71 states get one state infrastructure. That ain't too bad. Can we help develop any other places yet? Because I really want to develop places. Like, how much money can we spend? We got enough money for right now. We actually have $81 billion, which is not bad. But, uh... We actually have a lot of energy or electricity. I want more nuclear material now. Nuclear material. How do we get more nuclear stuff? So we lose stuff and get five stuff and more stuff. 
Well, we're out of nuclear material, and that's pretty much it. And office box gives us the most stuff, so we're gonna need more aluminum eventually. Dry docks, and eh, building ships. We can build some of that stuff later. Getting enough energy is more than fine. Produce electricity, but we don't have that stuff. Petrochemical refinery wouldn't be too bad either. Yeah, build it in the Midwest. I, was, I like building in the Midwest. Not just because I'm from there at the time of this recording, but like... I will get do some of those dudes' district boundaries. Just because, like, if either coast gets attacked, we also do okay. Rare Earth Hydrometallurgy Plant. Ooh. So if anyone wants to nuke us, nuke us it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. Revenue Act of 64. Well, it's only 62, but happy 1962. The Revenue Act of 1964 will cut federal income tax by approximately 20% across the board and lower the top federal income tax rate from 91% to 70%. Holy crap, that's high. I can't imagine paying that much in taxes. Then again, who says I pay taxes? But that's okay for now. And legislation has failed. Fails to pass, fails to pass, so I'm not going to do stuff which, is, which we just fail, so. Um, they're still deba debating about gender minority rights. Uh, let's see, Kurdistan actually exists, huh? Marxist Leninists, huh? Five year plan. We can still influence Egypt as well. That would not be bad. Syrian Republic? Eh, they sort of like us. We don't really like them, though. Uh, the oh, War of Independence? Yes, yes, uh, yes, more conflict. Yes, please. I like these guys, too. I like a lot of the people here. Or maybe not. Maybe I do. I don't know. Are you a war? Oh, god dang. Are you not, it's, is it only border conflict? Oh, no. Wow. Ethiopia looks like a bigger mess than I really realized. Go to an empire, too. Civil Rights Act. Do we want to do civil rights? I'd rather launch a bay of pigs. Our top spies in Cuba have come up with a daring plan to overthrow Fidel Castro. Using CIA and trained Cuban exiles to hide our involvement, our forces will land on a beach in southwestern Cuba and take back the island nation by force. Well, we'll do the best we can. As we get more pee pee. Uh, some of the comments say, well, someone said, I should do um, a TNO Bennett campaign, Mr. Mormon Moneybags, as I often like to refer to him as. Okay, so even if we do any of these, like, it fails. So there's no point to do it. But, yeah, I actually probably need to. The time it's recording, I probably really need to, actually, so that we get the resulting havoc. Oh, well, that was catastrophic. Well, attempt to assassinate Castro. After the Bay of Eggs debacle, we're running out of options to get rid of Cuba's communist dictatorship. Our next best best is arrange an assassination attempt at Fidel Castro's life and remove the man holding the whole regime up. Because we can't do this one, which I'd love to do, but Cuban death squads sound like awesome fun. Coup d'etat in Burma. Nothing new, just Burma being in complete chaos. Operation North Woods. They had an assassination attempt at Fidel Castro. The Cuban government pronounced today in an attempt to assassinate the Fidel Castro. Uh, which was foiled. The government stated a team of imperial thugs and traitors to the people attempted to take the life of Castro, but were caught red-handed. They added that any Cubans caught abetting or aiding the assassins would be arrested and tried. Justice would be done in the name of the Cuban people, and although details were not provided, the Cuban government also stated they believed the plot to be won by uh, American intelligence agents. The U.S. did not comment on accusations of involvement in the attempt, but did say these attempts demonstrate the desire of Cubans to be free of Castro and his oppressive regime. Simply embarrassing. Six Civil Rights Act of 64. Civil Rights Act of 64 outlaws discrimination based on race, color, sex, religion, or national origin. It also prohibits unequal application of voter registration requirements and racial segregation in schools, employment, and public accommodations. If we try to pass this now and it fails, do we still have legal discrimination? Can we fix that later on or not? Or adjust it at all? Our GDP keeps going up. Never mind. I'm more concerned about the GDP. Oh, increased funding for Ethiopia. I, I, unless you're literally at war, I don't, I don't want to get involved. So... Fine, you can have a billion. For the Liberation Front. You sound communist. Oh, you're nationalists. You're monarchists. Dude, this is a weird... I've never seen them like this. Line of Judah sounds really cool, though. Surrender them, plus 40%. After Civil Rights Act, Economic Opportunity Act. The EDA will authorize the formation of local community action agencies. As part of the War on Poverty and the purpose of the EOA, or E... Yeah, Economic Opportunity Act, is to strengthen, supplement, and coordinate efforts to defeat poverty. Too bad we're still dealing with that today. Um, 42 ain't still ain't too bad, so. Okay. Petrochemicals, not bad at all. Can we buy nuclear material from anybody? South Africa? It's a bit too much. Let's go with two. Not sure we really need any, but, you know, whatever. Um, mock strategic bombers, high speed interceptors, we okay for now. Super carriers, ooh. When's our next research done? Like, it takes forever to do research, man. <coughs> GDP, look at that GDP. It's just uh, we actually decreased the other year. Now going back up, which is kind of nice. U.S. steel price up. The price of steel in the U.S. has hit, seen a dramatic increase. 
This has raised concerns of the president, JFK himself, and his economic advisors. They believe the U.S. steel industry, especially dominated by the U.S. Steel Corporation, is co coordinating its efforts to increase the price of steel to maximize profits. The president believes that price increases will increase or risk an inflationary crisis and could weaken the defense industry if a crisis were to emerge. He is believed to be considering the breakup of U.S. Steel as a way to promote more economic competition and lower prices. However, you have to consider the potential consequences and legal challenges such as an action would cause. U.S. Steel argues that prices are due to the market increased, increased worker wages. It is strongly opposing any attempt at federal interference in its operations. Foreign assistance fail, fail. Migration fail. Area of voting rights fail. They all fail. So, you know what? What happens if, like seriously, what happens if we do this? Like we have Social Security Act. I do this one, uh, Food Stamp Act. The Food Stamp Act will provide permanent legislative authority to the Food Stamp Program, which has been introduced a few years ago on a temporary basis and was a massive success. Whoa, you all, wait, what? Yugoslavia, you lost a bull, how, is that historical? Bulgarian, what way did you go? How did you get a monarchy back? Bulgarian Macedonian Empire. Embrace orthodoxism. I thought you were communist. One, two people, one Tsar. Differential analysis. Don't ask me about math stuff. I can't do math that well. Um, come over here, maybe. What are you doing, Matt? How are you, Saxon Kohlberg, on got the monarchist? What? How? I'm glad we don't have any debt, and we've got a lot of billions. Um, I might literally just go ahead and do... Ooh, monopulse radar is very good, but... Um, so we're done with this side. Ma weapons of mass destruction will be a lot of fun, but... Cryogenic rocket... Might, might, might as well, right? Common bulkheads? We can't do this up yet. Solid core rocket yet. But we will go ahead and do some nuclear P propulsion. Pulse pro Oh, we're already doing propulse propulsion. SSTV image translation... Transmission? Tra not translation, tra transmission, yeah. Desert warfare, not too bad either. So we're over here and do some of this, because we can. Nice. Alright then, food stamp pack followed up with, was it, deal with the underworld. Versus, zero percent chance that Fidel Castro gets assassinated, or dies. Operation Northwoods? Proposed false flag operation just fine invasion of Cuba. And given the all-clear disguised CIA operatives will carry out acts of terror across the U.S. in an attempt to provoke outrage against Cuba. That sounds awesome. But it's probably more, uh, possible to do this one. Well, dealing with this disgruntled criminal bosses and gangs is distasteful, so is assassination of plot business. Arranging for them to poison Fidel Castro's meal is one of the best chances we'll ever get to remove the communist threat off our shores. Which just makes sense as that's what that happened. Assassinate Rafael Trujillo. A strong man leader of the Dominican Republic since the 30s, Trujillo has overseen a new reign of terror in the Caribbean. He has asked to go even if he's not a commie. Which didn't, like, what was it? Werbel, the third, like, help assassinate him, but another failed assassination attempt? Prior to the Cuban Revolution, American crime bosses owned casinos, hotels, and other own valuable economic assets across Cuba. However, following the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro led a campaign to curb foreign access to Cuban assets, and many American crime bosses lost millions today. An attempt to poison the food of the Cuban leader Fidel Castro was discovered. Cuban security personnel quickly captured the group which delivered the poison dish to Castro and announced the plot was hatched by American Mafia. The Cuban government added the sophistication of the poison and the organization of the plan made them suspect that the Mafia was working closely with the American government. So far, the U.S. has not commented on this accusations. How many more times? Depose Juan Velasco Alvarado. Alvarado. He, that dude, the leader of Peru, is a tyrannical death, but it must be removed. Their agents are in place and are waiting for the green light. Train Brazilian death squads. That's awesome. The assassination of Rafael. Last night on May 30th, uh, El Jefe's Chevrolet Bel Air was intercepted by a vehicle, vehicle full of gunmen while en route to San Cristobal from Santo Domingo. The vehicle pulled up behind Trujillo's car on the deserted highway and tailed it before a fire, opening fire of the CIA supplied M1 carbines. As Trujillo's damaged car was ground to a stop on the highway shoulder by a chauffeur, the vehicle containing the armed men pulled in front of it, blocking its path. An intense, although one sided firefight ensued between the gunmen and an armed Trujillo along with the chauffeur. Eventually wounded, Trujillo attempted to escape with his bullet ridden car, only then to be gunned down in the middle of the street. The gunman then packed his body into the vehicle and sped away into the night, leaving the wreckage and blood behind for the local police to find. One less desperate in the world and trained Brazilian death squads. To suppress communist instigators in Brazil, we should organize and support right wing death squads to silence them. That sounds really wild. Widespread, ex uh, uh, was it widespread executions? Train Uruguayan death squads. To suppress communist instigators in Uruguay, we should organize and support right wing death squads to silence them. I love JFK. Oh, Marilyn Monroe dies. Pell is blamed. Another victim for Hollywood.
A major sex symbol, huh? Sounds like she had a lot of issues. So we're doing this one. We're doing that one. That's a little bit too ahead of time. A lot of stuff is just too ahead of time for us. I don't like that. So, weapons of mass destruction. And multiple reentry vehicles. We might as well get them, right? Uh, establish Ecuadorian Junta. Well, Ecuador is in communist, yeah, it's time to create a new regime. Although true democracy is preferable, a strong military junta is necessary to maintain stability in the status quo. Operation Power Pack. The Dominican Republic has fallen into chaos, and another communist regime is poised to arise in the Caribbean. This can't happen. By sending in our own troops to aid the democratic forces, we can prevent another Cuba. To crush the Dominican Rebellion. With our troops ashore and repulsing the communist rebels, it is time to put an end to the madness. Crush the Reds and show no mercy. Another comment from yesterday said, was like, why do we why do we get Kennedy? Why do we choose him for this campaign? He's gonna die anyway, someone said. I'm like, yeah, but we all die eventually anyways. And I like I said before, I just like doing it somewhat historical. Operation Power Pack? If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Concerning. Cool. And then launch a coup in Bolivia. Ooh. The Bolivian government is showing too many leftist tendencies for our liking. We need to replace it before it shows its two colors and joins the Soviets. And follow it up with what else? Alright, cool. The American Armed Forces? That's a 50 flipping day focus. Holy crap. Operation Mockingbird and African and European desks. While not as unstable as South and Central America, the European and the Africa theaters are just as important, if not more so, in our battle for global supremacy against the Soviets, and of course cannot be ignored. The Asian desk. Because we love Asians and desks. Asia is the site of our largest involvement in Cold War conflicts, first in Korea, and now in Vietnam. We need to keep up with their efforts to ensure more of the Far East, as well as the rest of the continent, doesn't fall behind further under the Red Boot. The Secret War. Although everyone knows about the war in Vietnam, there's another just as vicious conflict going right next door in Laos. There's been major air efforts, providing both ground support and supplies, as well as numerous special force operations to aid the anti-communist fighters in the area. Anything else we could do here? We lose political power with that, we get more monthly population. I don't want to do stuff if we just fail, though. Oh, look at economic opportunity. That's not too bad. Computer technology research? Yeah, I'll do that one. <coughs> Vietnam desk. Aid Savak. Savak, the Shah's sledging intelligence agency, is struggling to find and detailing those who overthrow the government. We should aid it so that our interests in the Middle East are preserved. There's, oh, that's not bad. Activities undertaken by the CIA in Laos started as early as in the 50s, with some U.S. Special Forces training Laotian soldiers in asymmetric warfare techniques as early as 59. The CIA themselves claimed that their air operations in Laos were among the largest paramilitary operations ever undertaken by the organization, last for years. They directed native forces against North Vietnamese forces, organizing tribes to fight Laotian communists as well. They even used the airline Air America to drop off millions of pounds of foodstuff, transport thousands of troops, and conduct reconnaissance. The CIA operated with the nearly early night vision goggles and some state-of-the-art electronic equipment. Our efforts are superb, the use of manpower has been excellent, and we've helped the Laotian people fight the pe communist threat. Interesting. Launch an Indonesian coup. Arm the Republic of Cambodia. Support Lon Nol? Lon Nol, the more right leaning Cambodian general, is struggling to hold the Khmer Rouge at bay and needs their assistance immediately. We need to act fast before he's overwhelmed. I guess. Uh, hold on, let's see. Look, look, look. Wait, it hasn't exploded down here too much, has it? King Laos, Pe Lao People's Democratic Republic. What is this one? Yunnan Anti Communist National Salvation Army? Lee Me. That seems kind of cool, actually. I'll just wait to do that one, though. Aid Mobutu. Mo Mobutu Sese Seko. President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo is in dire need of military aid and will give him what he needs to ensure his sub regime's survival. Uh, covert, covert support Greek junta. Ever since the Greek Civil War in 49, the military junta in charge of the country has had a difficult time holding it all together. We need to send them aid before Greece falls into another war. And since we're here, Vietnam? No, not Vietnam. We all like Israel here. We love Israel here. Um... Oh boy, here we go, boys. I forgot about this a little bit earlier, but establish Japan State. And there we Oh! Golden Man. We literally just influenced your politics so hard you became our puppet. And you got rid of social support and now you're social democracy. Positive minority action. Total equality. Is that a good thing? Well, we'll see what happens. Nice, I love that we just we literally just cooed Israel. That's that's kind of wild, I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda of wild. American Navy. Um, seems like we should probably do something like the American Armed Forces. Despite all our covert ops and diplomatic efforts, the only thing truly keeping us alive and thriving is our military. It must be supported and maintained for this situation to stay. As it is. Weapons of mass destruction? We might need to blow up a few Soviets here and there. Nerve agents? Oh, you should you should say yes. Increase funding? There you go, yeah. Well, else you can have some more mo money. Uh, we have $84 billion. So I'm thinking about education system? No. 
Welfare. We're just going to pull early LBJ and get as much political power. We do this. We're at 84.7 billion. You know what I would like to see? I don't know the devs are watching. I counted out they are. But, like, it shows you how much it costs would be. So, one thing that would be really cool is if, like, if you hover over this, it says cost per capita 240%. Like, could you all go ahead and just show us what it would potentially be per month more for having more welfare spending or just spending for, like, the military for everything here? I think that'd be a lot better, potentially, just because you would be more informed, or at least the player would be more informed of the decisions that we're making here. Like, oh, can I afford this much? Can we actually afford it? Because 240%, well, I get the intention behind it. I can't tell how much it is, so maybe I'm just a ding-dong, and I probably am, but, like, still. So that's double up to 59 billion. So that's 50 billion. That's still pretty darn good. We have moderate welfare spending, high welfare spending, so we get 7.5% more political power. That's all I want right now, political power. So we can influence more nations at all the times. So that's why I'm doing the welfare spending for now. Um, yeah, not bad overall, but like... That's why we're trying to crank out as many office parks right now as we possibly can. Actually, how is steel? Steel is doing... We're doing great on steel. Wow. That's actually really good. So renewables are okay. I still want to get... I think we'll keep at least two renewables going at all times. But we want a lot more office parks as well. Michigan, you can use a lot more office parks, and there you go, too. Nice. American Armed Forces. So after American Armed Forces, it is 62, of course, my friends. Operation Mockingbird. We need the global population, or at least our own, to fervently believe in the righteousness of our cause. To ensure this, we need to start planning stores and uh, propaganda in all forms of media across the world. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, 2.6 is not enough, but, like, that's okay. So we got Israel. Actually... Hey, legislation passed. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Malaysian Civil War. Don't care about that right now. Um, yeah, they're all just... I, we, this will be okay. We doesn't hurt our political power, but we get more monthly population. I'll do that one anyways. Screw it. We'll do it. So I wish we could see, like, all of our puppets easily like this. Um, this has got to be map mode, right? Ooh. Players, of course. Um, infrastructure, population, terrain, ideology. CIA sites, missiles, on Cuba. The CIA was conducting regular aerial reconnaissance flights over Cuba to determine their intentions and find evidence of Soviet deployments. However, recently these flights were stopped due to the risk of internal international incidents and the arrival of sophisticated Soviet anti-air weaponry for the Cuban military. A naval recon flight recently noticed a Soviet freighter that appeared to be carrying crates of Soviet aircraft parts to check Cuba. In addition, intelligence reports indicated the deployment of SAM sites in Cuba along the pattern of those set up to defend the Soviet nuclear missile sites. With this information, spy plane flights were resumed under Air Force control. The subsequent photographs were analyzed, and the Soviet nuclear missile launch sites were identified. The president was soon informed, and he immediately called a meeting of the Executive Committee of the National Security Council to formulate a response. For many in the government, Soviet nuclear deployments in Cuba was akin to placing nuclear weapons on American soil. We had a deal, gosh darn it! Convene the XCOM and put a man in space... Good God, you know we're gonna get there first. President Kennedy convened the Executive Committee for the National Security Council, the XCOM, to go over the photographs of Soviet nuclear weapons in Cuba and decide on a response. All the members agreed on a decision must be made as soon as possible. In the end, President Kennedy had three options. His first, presented by Joint Chiefs of Staff, called for hundreds of targets to be struck in airstrikes immediately, followed by an invasion of Cuba. The President noted such an option would likely be see for Berlin fall to the Soviets and weaken NATO. The second option, endorsed by most of the members, would be to establish a blockade to prevent the final the arrival of more offensive weapons to the island. Finally, there was the option to not respond. Some committee members believe the Soviet deployment was too small to upset the balance of power, making it into an issue could cause unnecessary panic and bolden the Soviets. Invasion? Oh, I'd love to do that. Americans discover Operation Anadir. Send Soviets an ultimatum. Do nothing. I don't know which one is recommendation uh, blockade. I love the colors of this. So the social democracy and there was a socialism and then liberal conservatism. It literally gets to show you what's going on here. I love the national zone. That looks kind of nice. Terrain, diplomacy, yeah, ter uh, diplomacy maybe. Eh, some people like us. Some people don't. It's hard to tell. Resource compliance, resource states. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to see, like, a puppet button. Maybe there is one. Maybe I'm just stupid and I can't see it, but... I'd love if NATO was an actual faction. Presidential address on the Cuban Missile Crisis. The pe American people were stunned this evening when President JFK informed the nation of the discovery of Soviet nuclear missiles on the island of Cuba. In his address, JFK noted that any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any state in the Western Hemisphere will be seen as a direct attack on the U.S. by the Soviet Union. The President also informed his plan of setting up what he described as the quarantine of Cuba. He stated that any ships found to carry offensive weapons will be turned back, but the, those that did not would be allowed entry. 
He added that the U.S. Navy would implement this quarantine from international waters. He emphasized the quarantine was not going to halt the imported necessities of life or non-military goods. American forces across the globe are also being mobilized. Concerning, man. But Operation Mockingbird, regardless. Start planting stores and propaganda in all forms of media across the world? You bet you're Turkish. We gotta have that. We got about a week left, which is not too bad. GDP took a... Yeah, it went up even higher. Look at that. Growth rate, 8.9%. Ain't too bad. As we're spending technically less as a percentage on the military, which is not terrible. We got his burn, spend, spend. How's, how's the USSR doing? Like, for you guys, you got a lot of financial reserves. You're not really using too much. We don't have a lot of... Of course, we're Americans. We don't have a lot of financial reserves, period. But whatever. Operation Mockingbird is next. Uh, provide intel to the Greek junto? By providing the Greeks with intelligence on communist groups, supporters, and sympathizers within their nation, we can further stabilize the country. Operation Mockingbird. The CIA has confirmed that they will be putting Operation Mockingbird into action. Mockingbird, the brainchild of CIA Director Alan Dulles, or Dulles, entails many independent actions across the U.S. to ensure the validity of content published in newspapers. The CIA will deliver reports conforming with American policy in the hands of cooperating journalists from New York Times to the Washington Post. Along with the containing the publishing of anti-American propaganda, the increasing the amount of pro-American information in the flow of newspapers, some civic agencies such as the National Student Association will be funded by the CIA. The media is the enemy and the Khrushchev's offer, of course. The blockade is active to send Soviets an ultimatum. The Navy informed the White House its blockade was active. To reduce an escalation of violence or provide an excuse for the Soviets to escalate, the State Department was able to get the blockade approved not as an act of war but as a defense measure to protect the Western Hemisphere. This was done by getting approval from the Organization of American States and pledging that the blockade is only meant to prevent the arrival of offensive weapons to the island as per the terms of the 1947 Rio Treaty. In addition, we provide an ultimatum to the Soviet government that our actions will not cease until all offensive Soviet missiles were removed from the island. Hopefully that's the same reason in his offer, of course. After a tense message between Moscow and Washington, the White House received a firm offer from the Premier, Nikita Khrushchev, the Soviet leader, promised to withdraw all nuclear weapons from Cuba on the condition we withdraw our nuclear missiles from Turkey and promise not to invade Cuba. Upon hearing the offer, many in the administration immediately insisted we reject the proposal and demand unconditional Soviet withdrawal. To them, the Soviet offer shows weakness. However, the President and his close advisors appear inclined to accept the deal of war in Cuba would be costly and the missiles in Turkey were largely obsolete. Essentially, the U.S. would lose nothing and achieve its goals while the Soviets could save face internationally. However, not the President we must decide which position he will take. The lives of millions are in the balance. Accept his offer? No. Demand unconditional Soviet withdrawal. <clears throat> the end of the Cuban Missile Crisis. After a tense two weeks in which the world held its collective breath, the Cuban Missile Crisis comes to an end. The U.S. and the Soviet Union were able to secure uh, an agreement that will see the Soviet Union dismantle and remove its nuclear forces from Cuba. In exchange, the U.S. pledged it will respect the sovereignty and rights of Cubans. Many are viewing the agreement as a victory for the U.S., although there are rumors that the American government may have made other concessions regarding the deployment of its nuclear for forces. Regardless, the American people are praising the president for his firm leadership during the crisis. Within the Soviet Union, there, there appears to be tension among the Politburo as many members felt the crisis should not reach the stage of brinkmanship. Thank God Sandy's prevailed, and... Operation MK Ultra was a proposed series of experiments on human subjects to test the successfulness of various drugs designed for mind control. While uh, slightly inhumane, the results did aid us immensely in our fight against the Red Menace, so... Hey man, the results speak for themselves, and I apologize for me not pronouncing things correctly. Oh my goodness. Covert Rhodesian aid. While officials are coming out firmly against the Rhodesians and the racist policies, we will send them covert military and economic aid, after all. They're not red, so how, badly, how bad can it really be? Project MKUltra has recently been launched. It is a program whose purpose is to perform experiments on human subjects to identify and develop drugs and procedures to be used in interrogation in order to weaken the individual and force confessions and extract information through mind control. It's organized by the Office of Scientific Intelligence of the CIA and coordinated by the U.S. Army Biological Warfare Laboratories. We examine means using chemical, biological, and radiological methods of mind control as part of MKUltra. Some of our experiments include administering LSD to mental patients. Prisoners, drug addicts, and of course, those delirious sex workers. Choosing people who would like, to, who would be least likely to tell their experience here is of the utmost importance. Unnecessary evil as we send covert aid to South Africa. From a civil rights point of view, the apartheid government in South Africa is awful, but hey, we all have our shortcomings, right? We have our own civil rights issue anyways, and besides, better them than the commies. And then aid the FL FNLA. Kingdom of the Congo gets, or the FNLA, the National Front for the Liberation of Angola, is struggling to gain its independence from the Angolan Portuguese War. By aiding them now, we can gain their gratitude and gain them in our sphere of influence. And that's the most important thing. Operation Midnight Climax. Ooh. An extension of MK Ultra Midnight Climax will involve CIA involved prostitutes luring the customers to CIA safe houses. Once there, we will inject the customers with LSD to record the effects it has on them. Don't worry about the ethics of the whole thing, it's all for the greater good. What are you, a commie? Depends on who's asking. 
If you're thinking of foreign policies, oh. Capitalizing on the Soviet Sino Soviet split. The Chinese and Soviets have finally split over their major ideological differences and conflicting goals here. It is our chance to partner with the one to gain an advantage over the other, whether politically or militarily. So if we go with the Soviets, we can eventually just go to negotiate over Vietnam and uh, do some other stuff. Join American Soviet war against PRC sounds awesome. But being one of the many uh, sub projects of MK Ultra, Operation Midnight Climax is one of the strangest our intelligence agencies ever undertaken. CIA operatives involved with Midnight Cli Climax would hire prostitutes in San Francisco to their clients back to brothels. Once there, the agents secretly drugged their targets and watched them engage in sexual activities from behind a two way mirror. One of the heads of the project set up a brothel in San Francisco. He wanted the spot to have a French whorehouse look, he said. Hopefully, the operations they conduct are conclusive and bring back many results of further scientific data MKUltra is trying to achieve. Why are we spending money on this? We're just wa having our agents watch pornography. That's all they're doing. If you can hear me, I'm also having some water as well. So, fortify the border. Well, I guess if you want to read about that, please go ahead. This stuff, obviously, we can't do since, well, we did win in Korea, so. Retaliatory strikes? The second Korean War sounds like fun. But since we won the first one, I don't think we really need a second one right now, so. And then the Middle East. The situation in the Middle East has changed drastically since the 50s. We have seen the rise of a new pan Arab nationalism, headed by Gamal Abdel Nasser, as well as a successful attempt to annex the Suez Canal. Our more, our more democratic allies like Israel and Iran are in desperate need of support and aid, and we'll provide those. Absolutely. Depending on who asks. How are we doing? Oh. Okay, do two more. Get some roads, get some civil defense structures. Some water agriculture would not be bad either eventually, but we're doing okay on that stuff anyways. Um, strategic fuel reserves, radar rays would not be bad either. Having a lot of radar around here would be very quite beneficial. Especially in Alaska and Hawaii. The Middle East. <laughs> Reach, outreach to Israel. Israel is already one of our most staunch allies in the Middle East and will keep that position for many years. We need to increase our cooperation and ties with one another. Yeah, not much is going to happen there. Um, arm Israel. Surrounded by hostile neighbors that dwarf its population, Israel, the IDF, needs all the technological edge it can get, and we can provide just that for them. I would like us a little bit more, which they better, because they're popular technically, so. Who's that? Are we influencing Brazil next? Was it Brazil? I can't remember. 41% is pretty good already. Spain would be kind of fun. Uh, we have Korea under us. Is are you, You're still technically... You're not even a puppet. Kishi. Whenever I see your face, I'm just thinking TNO. I'm just, oh my goodness, in real life. Oh my goodness. Um, you're still at war. I'd love to influence them too. Qatar. And again, I do want Lebanon here too. Lebanon, we have 29%. Turkey would be really good as an ally to get into. So, Ismet Inonu? I don't know how to pronounce that, but eh, I'll do this group first. Brazil first. Followed up with the Vietnam desk. <clears throat> Vietnam. Well, more really needs to be said about it. It's all a consuming mess we got ourselves into what feels like so many years ago. We need to buckle down, crush the Viet Cong and the Ho Chi Minh, and pack out before things truly start to make a turn for the worse. Assassinate Diem. Preserve the Diem regime. That's not bad, maybe. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Operation Vulcan. I think I'll do this one. Despite all the shortcomings, Diem has done his, all that he can to preserve the status of Vietnam in these violent, turbulent years. We should keep him around, because at this point, who else is more capable and experienced in, his, in the position than he is? But if you want to about this one, please go right ahead. Even though this would probably be better to do, but... Civilian Irregular Defense Group Program. The CIDG is a program designed for recruiting and fielding irregular units made up of minority populations in South Vietnam. This will increase the ARVN's capacity for attack as well as keep those minorities out of the Viet Cong's hands. Operation Vulcan. The North Vietnamese are developing a navy, and although it cannot touch the strength of ours, it will be a nuisance should it be left unchecked. We'll have a team of bomb-carrying divers waiting for the word to start their sabotage mission. Nice. Oh, crap. 20%. That's extreme. Holy. Nice. Bribe the An Quang Buddhists. The An Quang Buddhists are a religious group willing to cooperate with the South Vietnamese and the ARVN for a price. However, the AVR... ARVN needs the men and experience, so the bribe will be sent. Launch a Phoenix Operation, National Liberation Front. Oh boy! Oh, that's gonna hurt the manpower pretty badly. 100 every week. 
The Phoenix program is aimed at destroying the Viet Cong and their supporters throughout infiltration, counterterrorism, torture, and interrogation. It involves specialized recon units killing or capturing suspected Viet Cong and bringing them back to detention centers. National Liberation Front. Is that what we call North Vietnam right now? Democratic Republic. Yeah, let's wait for that one then. Probably best to wait for that one, the Republic of Vietnam. Um, as much as I want to do that one. Launch Indonesian coup, support La Noi, or La Noi. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait for some of this stuff because these, these people aren't even here yet, so. Expand HTL, or HT Lingual. HT Lingual is an operation designed to intercept American mail headed to the USSR and PRC. All of this will enable us in our attempts to root out communism in the US. Operation M Chaos. George Wallace's inauguration. Oh my goodness. How handsome. A dangerous man, according to some. Operation M Chaos is a domestic espionage project aimed at uncovering foreign influence in the recent race and anti war protest movements. We know that the USSR is instigating these riots, and if we can capture agents, the movements, the movements will die. Expansion of Operation HT Lingual. Operation H. Examination of mail products existing or exiting and entering the U.S. that are bound for the communist countries has been approved for expansion by the CIA. Originally only intended to collect addresses and names from the exteriors of suspicious mail bound for the countries such as the Soviet Union and the People's Republic of China. The new CIA expansion has funded the opening of two new rigorous inspection centers in New York and L.A. to ensure the safety of the American people. While formally created to obtain intelligence on overseas adversaries, the CIA has also begun keeping tabs on the mail of possible domestic troublemakers and activists such as Martin Luther King Jr. and John Steinbeck. Nice. Uh, Project MK Naomi. MK Naomi is another offshoot of MK Ultra. Rather than focusing on mind control drugs, Naomi is aimed at biological and chemical compounds designed to instantly kill or incapacitate, as well as devices for spreading them. Spreading of them. Project MK or M Chaos. Operation MK. Chaos or M Chaos was a central intelligence agency domestic espionage project that targeted the American people. Starting in '67, our mission was to uncover possible foreign influence on domestic race, uh, anti-war, and other protest movements. It was launched under the direction of Central Intelligence when uh, under director launched under the director of Central Intelligence when JFK was elected in '68. Ex in '68, uh, existing domestic surveillance activities were consolidated into Operation Chaos. The project used CIA stations abroad to report on anti-war activities of American citizens traveling abroad and employing methods like physical surveillance and electronic eavesdropping, utilizing liaison services and maintaining their such surveillance. The operations were later expanded to include more men in 69. Following the expansion, the operation began developing its own network of informants for the purposes of infiltrating various foreign anti-war groups located in foreign countries that might have ties with American groups. This should help stop the Pinkos and U.S. Missile Command, although a newer department. Missile Command is a very vital part of our military mission, and the only thing preventing the Soviets from reducing our population to atoms. We must keep our missile research. MK Naomi. It's a code name for a joint research program between the CIA and the Department of Defense, launched around the same time that MK Ultra was launched. It's focused on biological material warfare agents, specifically being able to restore or to store materials that could either incapacitate or kill a test subject and to develop devices for the diffusion of such materials. Surveillance, testing, upgrading, and evaluation of spe special materials were also provided by MK Naomi to ensure that no defections or unwanted issues emerge in the actual use. The U.S. Army's SOC was assigned to assist the CIA during development. One such invention was a modified firearm that fired special darts coated with biological agents and various poison pills. They were tested on guard dogs, allowing agents to infiltrate the area that the dogs were guarding and then would be used to awaken the dogs upon exiting the facility. Unnecessary evil, I suppose. Then again, don't ask me. I'm just here for good times. And I want... Ooh. Rare Earth Resolve? Resolve L208 and expand the Homestake Gold Mine. The Homestake Gold Mine, the deepest gold mine in North America, ceased production in 43 to 45 due to the L208 limitation order from the War Production Board. Now that the war, of course, has ended, it is time to resolve the limitation order and begin to expand the mine. Oh, yes, please. We could use more goodness here. And by goodness, I mean rare earth material. So, the Birmingham campaign, interesting. All right. After Missile Command, we're at production. That's not bad. Oh, that's not bad either. Sub launch ballistic missiles ain't too bad. Silo missile expansion. Ooh. The American Army? Our army, while not particularly useful as missile command of deterrence and quite useless in peacetime, still is very important to the spreading of democracy in the world and must be supported and, of course, expanded. Cool, now we close out of this one. Economic investments. We got two. Is that trillion? Yeah, it's gotta be two trillion. Oh. Huh. Uh, how can I spend this money? If you. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Like, how else can I spend my money? Like, obviously, we can, like, develop our places, like, tech, not, or, you know, tech requirement not met here, but, like, can I, like, industrialize other places, or what else can I do with my money? Please let me know in the comments below, because I would love to know, um, just throwing money at people. Can I use my money to influence people? Like, I would love to, I would love to have that. I mean, I know we can pay off debts and stuff. Wait. 
All right, we got a bunch of 56,000 Israelis helping us out with the garrisons. All right, then. Military subsidies. <laughs> now, does that give us any more influence on them? The Mosul Uprising. Cool. A blow to Nasserism. Well, since we're down here anyways. 75% ain't too bad. So, does that give you some more influence? We could start trying that. 75%. Um, does that do anything? Or just, does it just randomly help them out? Like, oh, we'll help them out, maybe. I don't know. Please let me know in the comments below if it does. Keep doing that stuff, too. And we're only getting 1.73 now. Oh, that sucks. Targeted destruction. Oh, wait, what? Man, space, this is amazing. Do we win the space race yet? I guess not. Food stamp program. Wait policy change cooldown. Ah, yeah. Increased wages is nice. Drug efficiency. Increased wages. Um... Baby boom for now. F National firearms. NATO member Taft Hartley Act. Organized crime problems. Home of the free. Fair labor standards. McCarthyism. This is actually less than it was earlier. Oh, wait. Do we not go here? Oh, no. This is public education. Okay, I'm like, oh, I thought we went there already. Anyways. American American Modern Army. What, where is the targeted destruction? Oh, geosynchronous orbit? Yeah, might as well do that one. Targeted destruction. I don't know where that is. But let's go over the next focus, too. The Ford Machinery M113. The M113 is an all-new Ford design and produces APC. Oh, crap. Top of the line, state of the arts are our best interest to distribute this vehicle as widely as possible. The die's cast. Well, they got. That's why we're getting all sorts of chemicals here, just in case. Oh, let's do this one first. Yeah, I like this one. Nice. Landing craft mechanized. <coughs> invasion defense, amphibious invasion speed. Not bad. The Evian Accords, huh? All right, now formalize a ceasefire between the two nations, but also arrange a cooperative exchange between the two countries. Self-propelled howitzers? Might as well. Alright. Very redevelopment. Eh. So where, where is this? Medical investment, CIA. Housing Act of 49. Anti-merger. Security, Social Security Act. Refugees. Radio Free Europe 2. Communist control. Gladio, small business, yeah, internal revenue code, healthcare, health stuff, NASA, ARPA, discounts, yeah, baby boom's gone, well, now we're screwed, increased wages, 64, okay. Can be reverted to lower levels. Yeah, well, we're going to wait for that one. Racism related issues? Alright, so a lot of this stuff up here is already here. MK Search. Uh, Operation Resistance. Stand in the school door. Alright. Welcome to this. Demise of Kenya Land and Freedom Army? Interesting. Let's go and do Saudi A. The Saudis, one not as democratic as we may have hoped for, are one of our few allies in the Middle East and require, of course, our support and just says, give money. Well, that makes me feel so good. Just want to give you aid. Just just give give money. Is that all we are to you? Just a, mu a bunch of money givers? Okay, so with 40, 52 billion, I do want to increase spending maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Services income is really good, but we'll see. It's only 63. Are you still fighting over there? My goodness. Please. Any other wars? I want more wars. I want more conflict. I don't know why... You guys are fighting each other. So, yeah. I don't understand that. Geosynchronous orbit. Um, we're leading the space race. I mean, it's still a work in progress, but hey. That's okay. Alrighty, let's see what we can do with. Oh, where's the aid? 
Saudi 8. Oh, okay, so this is targeted destruction. My bad. I'm like, where did it go? I, I thought, usually, when you lose political power, it's a national spirit. Not, not literally one of these things. Not a thing. Okay, so yeah. So I guess for this mod, I don't know if this, does this happen normally? Um, to upgrade your intelligence agency, it requires political power. I did not realize that. Is that in every mod? It doesn't seem like it, but... Eight Oman. Oman is a small but important friend situated at the mouth of the Red Sea and close to the Persian Gulf. We gotta ensure that they stay our ally. I'm giving them a bunch of crap. Absolutely. Here's a bunch of crap. Here, come and take it. Come and take all of it. Follow it up with... A, the Pahlavi regime. The Shah has already survived numerous coup and assassination attempts, but internal opposition and instability are both growing. We need to help him if we want his regime to keep going. But another uh, comment was, like I said earlier, can we build more renewables and nuclear reactors? Yeah, obviously we're trying to. We'll get there eventually as well. And someone says I should use the spot optimization mod, but at the time of this recording, I think it's like uh, like outdated, so I don't think I can really use it because it helps performance. Like I said in the last video, like I wish we had better performance, but we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see. And a the Pahlavi regime followed up with subsidize the Iranian armed forces. The Iranian armed forces, while having been steadily updating their equipment and strategies to modern standards, are, of course, still lagging behind. We gotta change that, and we just give them more money. Get 500, you know, and main battle tank twos, and 50 things of private manufacturer generation two multi-role fighters. They are, they're getting some good stuff, man. They are really getting some good stuff. Ooh, Vietnamization, Vietnamization. Launch air strikes in Cambodia and Laos sounds like fun. Withdraw from Vietnam. Oh boy. But after this one, I think we're going to end the episode on American Air Force. Why not? The Air Force has been operating even when and where are their branches cannot. And providing airlifts to starving nations, supporting democratic regimes with air cover, and bombing our communist enemies across the globe. What could be better than that? But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow after we have. We dropped from 280 food to 175, and our GDP is growing, and JFK totally, totally will not pass away. But thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great, great, tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.